How's it going guys? I'm back with a new manga haul. This is the first manga haul for the year. I didn't get much. I don't think I got anything for January. So this is basically everything I got for February. And uh, as Mr. Fred Hall's direct edition would say, let me start with uh, a main event. That is uh, Jiro Taneguchi's a Zoo in Winter by Ponan Mont. And this is still in the shrink wrap. I don't think I'll be opening it anytime soon. But happy to have some more Jiro Taneguchi. Then I'm continuing a series. This is from uh, Kodansha. To Your Eternity, Volume 2. The uh, first uh, the first volume of this was great, I think. Uh, the world building that the author did. The uh, whole creation of mythology or whatever that, that he did or she did was uh, pretty cool, I have to say. I really did enjoy the art. The art is very nice. Another Kodansha comic book here is uh, Topu GP Volume 2 as well by Kosuke Fujishima. The first one was pretty good. It's a very uh, simple story, just this kid trying to get into motorcycles. And that's basically the draw of the manga that you get all these great uh, shots of the bikes and the racing and the the characters are fun but like I said mostly it's all about the uh, dynamic dynamic art that uh, Fujishima does and here's another series that I'm continuing this is Welcome to the Ballroom number nine by Tomo Takeuchi and this volume feels pretty thick it's always a fun show in. A lot of great dance scenes and uh, the characters are a lot of fun. I'm wondering how long it'll how long it'll go. But it feels like I could go on forever. <laughs> Hopefully not. A new series that I'm starting, and I really didn't want to start a new series with all these titles that I'm picking up, but the title alone for this thing, Fire Punch by Tatsuki Fujimoto. It is from Biz, which is another knock on it. But from what I read, this series is uh, only eight volumes long. Really did like the art. And uh, the story seems very interesting. Basically, it's a post-apocalyptic tale where everything is frozen now. But then we have these uh, individuals with which get um, basically superpowers, kind of. So this guy uh, basically turns into fire or something. The art was a big draw. Uh, the story sounds interesting and it's short, so hopefully it's good. Probably the only other viz I'm picking up, I think. That is Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt, Volume 6. And uh, I've been enjoying this uh, series, but I'm sure I've said before that it's very different from uh, 0079 Timeline. Sort of more of an alternative take. The suits look great. The characters are fun. So I'm enjoying it. And this, I believe, is a... Uh, Relicensing that uh, Vertical did of um, Voice of a Distant Star by uh, Mokoto Shinkai and Mizu Sahara. And I believe Tokyo Pop had already published this before. Voice of a Distant Star is the only thing I haven't seen from Mokoto Shinkai. And uh, I figured what better way than uh, 
to actually pick up the manga. Hopefully someday I'll get to see the anime. It's about mix, but I doubt there's much mix in it. I'm I'm sure it's more of a slice of life story, very much uh, what Chinkai likes to do. And to end the video, I just have two more volumes, and these I actually picked up at a con, which was kind of disappointing because there was very there was basically no manga. And I don't think there was even any anim anime for an anime convention. But I found this, Kung Fu Jungle Boy, Volume 1, I believe it's a manga by CPM. Yeah, manga. And I thought it was funny because uh, this is basically a parody on uh, Dragon Ball Z, I would think. Just by looking at the cover. But I don't know. It looks fun. I thought it was interesting. I got it for a couple bucks. So I said, yeah, why not? Same with this one. This is, I believe, another manhwa. This is 10, 20, and 30. This is actually by Net Comics. Mori, Morim Kang is the author, I'm guessing. 10, 20, and 30. Which I believe is basically the story of three, three different aged women at the age of 10, 20, and 30. I'm, I'm thinking. <laughs> at least that's what I think I read. So, I figured I'll check it out. A couple bucks. I want to leave the con with something on me. But, yeah, there you have it. That was the haul for uh, January. Mostly February of 2018. Thank you very much for watching.